Here is a rendering of a typical amine plant that Tomco would provide for purifying filthy waste streams with low CO2 concentrations. Some more common examples are from biogas plants or boiler flue gas plants. In a biogas plant, the biogas will be roughly 60% methane and 40% CO2 with some trace impurities. The impurities vary depending on the source of biogas. For flue gas plants, the stream would be roughly 10% CO2, 7 to 10% oxygen, varying based on the amount of excess oxygen used in a burning process. Some hydrocarbons, some nitrous oxides, and some sulfur oxides. And the bulk of the gas would be nitrogen, up to 70% or higher. For both processes, some impurities in the feed stream into the plant are harmful and reduces the life of the amine, if not removed. The stream enters the plant here into the absorber column, where lean amine comes in contact with, the abs with and absorbs CO2 from the stream. The amine liquid is considered lean prior to absorbing CO2 and rich after absorbing CO2. The balance of stream that is not absorbed exits the absorber column here. This vent gas is then washed or processed depending on the impurities. For biogas plants, the balanced methane can be processed for further use elsewhere or sold for profit. For flue gas boiler plants, the balanced gas stream not absorbed is processed to ensure the vented gas is not harmful to the atmosphere. On the amine side, the rich amine is then pumped to the desorption column where the CO2 is extracted from the amine. Steam is generated and used for this process. Generally, one megawatt of steam energy is required per ton of CO2. A physiochemical process occurs and the CO2 vapor is released from the process through the top of the desorption column here. This stream flows into a separator where the remaining steam is condensed out. The resulting vapor exiting the top of this separator is upwards of 90 to 98 percent CO2 in some cases. It can then be sent downstream for further processing. That can include reactive processes, PSA or pressure swing adsorption depending on the remaining impurities. Additionally, distillation may be required to remove inert gas like oxygen and nitrogen. Once 99 percent or better the CO2 can now be liquefied and stored for future use. Some other equipment to note here are the amine management system. In this building here, the amine solvent is pumped between the absorption and desorption columns. Also, a solvent maintenance process is required to ensure the integrity and to prolong the useful life of the amine. Also, we have cooling systems for rejecting heat in the process. Here is a high temperature cooling system where heat from the gas stream is rejected to ambient. And here is a mid temperature cooling system where heat is rejected to a glycol loop. Here is a simplified carbon capture process diagram from a biogas or refinery plant. Here we show a system using the amine process. So waste gas with some low purity of CO2 comes off of the process and then flows into a cooling uh, process where waste heat is recovered. The gas stream then flows into the amine process. The amine process consists of two columns, an absorption column and a desorption column. In the absorption column, lean amine contacts the gas stream absorbing CO2. This amine is then considered rich as it is saturated with CO2. The rich amine saturated with CO2 is then pumped into the desorption column. In the desorption column, the CO2 is extracted. It's extracted using steam. The CO2 extracted comes off at some high purity, upwards of 90 to 98% sometimes. And that CO2 is then sent downstream for further processing. This processing can include uh, purifying it up to industrial grade or even better, food grade or beverage grade, which is one of the highest grades of CO2. 
that CO2 is then liquefied and then stored. Additionally, in the absorption column, there's a water wire system that ensures that the waste gas removed of CO2 is cleaned up so that it can be expelled into the atmosphere without polluting the environment. And that's a simplified flow diagram of an amine process as applied to a biogas plant.